Okay guys, so we will be testing out these two, uh, two GPUs um, from NVIDIA. Um, both of them are new series RTX. Uh, this one is 3090 and this one is 3070. <laughs> but the, it was very strange that, you know, first time I was seeing this that, um, you know, the GPU has diamonds on top of it. Um, so like, seems like the GPU uh, manufacturers uh, don't know where to put their money in. <laughs> they are placing out diamonds on the GPUs because uh, they are so valuable. But yeah, of course they are fake uh, plastic uh, things. But uh, but looks really interesting. Yeah, but surprisingly the 3090 is uh, smaller in the size like the 3070. You can see how thick it is the 3070 compared to um, 3090. And the 3090 is slightly uh, a little bit shorter and also is um, not so um, thick I would say so maybe maybe close very close anyway maybe a few millimeters um, not as thick as the as the 3070 and the height is also a little bit smaller on the 3090 both of them are pallet um, uh, cards you can see the box from 3070 I don't remember where I placed the box from 3090 uh, but yeah this is the 8 gigabyte version uh, from 3070 and the RX 3090 is 24 gigabytes RAM on one GPU which is crazy um, a price I think I paid 1500 for the 3090 and I paid around uh, 600 for the 3070 so let's see what kind of performance has both of these GPUs when they are mining Ethereum? So let's go. So you can see it here, guys. Uh, this is my test bench here where I'm testing the GPU. And I have the 3090 already installed since last night. And it's mining uh, rock solid stable. Um, you can see that it is. Oh, where do I see that? The, oh, here. I can see that it is 3090 RTX. Uh, pallet um, graphics card with a 40, 24 gigabyte uh, RAM uh, and it's more mining rock solid stable uh, at 110 mega hash you can see without any reboots um, the max performance on these graphics cards is what I got uh, is 125 mega hash from the card at uh, roughly 300 watts from the wall but the, 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 the rig kept crashing, so I just wanted to, um, you know, get it stable uh, during the night. So I, I reduced the performance, and it seems it worked very well. Um, and you can see I'm using the T-Rex Miner. This was what, what I was recommended from HiOS guys. Um, it's my first time testing these, the new series, 30,000 30, 30, series RTX cards. So I didn't know which miner is the best, and the iOS guys recommended to use the T-Rex miner uh, for these. I'm not really sure how the other miners work. I haven't tested them, them out yet. So you can see the uh, um, overclocks I have. I have minus 50 core. I have uh, memory at 2200, and I have the power limit at 280. Uh, and the performance to get 125 mega hash, I was uh, having... Um, memory overclock at 2500 and the power limit at 300 this was bringing me up to uh, 120 uh, mega hash so you can see the whole rig uh, from the wall uses 325 watts um, so that's including the CPU and uh, yeah all the other stuff uh, well this GPU not only has diamonds on it on top of the on front of the GPU, but also it has party lights on it. So you can see there's all kind of lights going on, like disco going on onto the GPU. So this is a 3070. It does have two 8-pin connections, the same as 3090. Um, what I would recommend you use um, each, you know, a separate 8-pin cable for every 8-pin um, connection, the same on 3090. Just because the maximum you can draw power from one cable, I think it's 270 watts. Um, you know, like 3090 would be using more 
power on the stock setting and that could burn your cables. Um, also, I using I was using the normal SATA 6-pin um, adapters uh, for the riser cables and there's absolutely no issue. 3090 was running all night and I was, you know, feeling the cables, the cables were cold, so not using much power to the riser. Uh, all the power comes through 8-pin PCIe from the top of the card. Um, yeah, so use separate cables, otherwise you'll melt, melt the cables, you'll burn the cables, and you'll burn your house also. <laughs> so, it is hashing, this card currently is hashing at 63 mega hash, it's hashing there for a few minutes already. Um, where can I see the time on this? I, I don't know. I don't know this T-Rex miner. I don't know if it's showing time, how long it's mining. But it has been good few minutes. Oh, here, 10 minutes. Um, so, the card here, 63.11. Um, this is the same, you know, the 3090 was running all night, just placed now the 3070, you can see it here. Uh, you can see the overclocks are running on this 170 power limit, so 170 watts from the wall is card pulling. And memory is 2800, and the fan is at 80. You can see that the whole system, with including the CPU, is running at 207 watts, so minus 40 watts. That could be uh, correct, 170 watts for the power limit. Uh, from the wall. Uh, it shows here 180, but I would say it's 170. So thank you guys for sticking almost till end of the video. I'm not gonna torture you much more longer. So I just want to show you the data. Um, I have this here before also the Ethereum mining performance. What I'm thinking, you know, uh, which is the most efficient cars for Ethereum mining. So I'm just listing them and, and comparing each to other uh, in terms of price per hash and what per hash, of course these things, a lot of, uh, they change on depending at what price you can get the GPUs, you know, in different countries, maybe different prices. Um, also, you know, you can buy them secondhand, you can buy them, you know, it, it all depends, you know, the, the biggest factor probably is the price. Even the older generation cards for some of the people are, you know, faster return of the investment than the newer generation cards, because maybe the power is cheap, because the cards are very cheap, are dirt cheap um, so yeah so I, I have inserted also these two cards the Nvidia you know latest series seems quite efficient um, for mining Ethereum but the biggest problem is of course you can't source the graphics cards they are in show so small quantities everywhere I, I can't, even, can't get them in the bulk anywhere I'm still trying to source 3080 uh, for a few months and still haven't got got it um, I don't know, probably we'll get some in the nearest future. And of course, I will do a review. So, the Ethereum hash rate, what we are getting, the max performance is on 3090 is 120 mega hash, and on the 3070 is 63 mega hash. The power usage is 280 watts, and the power usage for 3070s is 170 watts. You know, the 3070s seems very similar as the RX 5700, just the, the power usage uh, seems a little bit better on the RX 5700 than the uh, 3070. So you can see roughly 2.32 watts per every mega hash, where the 3070 is roughly 2.69 watts per every mega hash. Um, I have also updated that the GPU prices on the RX 5700s are skyrocket since previous, you know, updates. I think the price was sitting here at 330, which is impossible to get them now at that price. Um, but yeah, you can see the price per hash. You know, as I said before, it all depends what kind of price you can get. You know, these can change. You know, but. If you see a very little difference, you know that these cards are all about the same, uh, which will, you know, if you see the price per mega hash about the same, uh, you know, they will bring you the return of your investment in the hardware about in the same time. Um, so the most expensive here is the 1660 Ti, which I see is 10.3. US dollars per every mega hash, but they seem also very good watts per mega hash. 2.18 only watts per every mega hash. 3090 seems a very decent card in terms of watts per mega hash, but it's very expensive. You can see that it is 1,500 euro, and 
it will be priced per mega hash 12.5 um, euro where the RX 5700 is 7.6 it's almost double um, double the price per every mega hash but there's of, of all also benefits of using 3090 of course you know the resale value won't um, you know go down as much also it takes less space uh, for building a multiple GPU mining rigs um, you know there is some benefits but st of course you still you want the if you're mining to make money you want the uh, um, cheapest price per hash and the best watts per mega hash to uh, make the most of it and get your money back as fast as possible so yeah this was the review on these two GPUs I hope you did enjoy um, you know the testing was done only overall um, like you know I didn't go too deep in that uh, I just tested uh, you know some some settings which seems about the average on these GPUs and what the poor performance I'm getting I'm reporting here let me know what kind of performance you are getting if you are using these graphics cards uh, I would like to compare and see the performance comment down below if you have any questions if you have any suggestions otherwise thank you for watching video till end again subscribe the youtube channel if you haven't done so yet and mind hardcore or don't mind at all goodbye 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 guys